Good morning, Avon Elementary Dolphins. Today is a terrific Tuesday, August 15th, 2023. My name is Mrs. Culverhouse. And I'm Mrs. Cornell. And this is the AES News. Welcome. We are excited for another week. We have been here for three this will be day four now of our school year and we are so excited to be here let me tell you what we have for lunch today today we have mac and cheese or a hot dog mm, two delicious choices our thought for the day is at any given moment you have the power to say this is not how the story is going to end hmm. boys and girls what that means is that you are in charge of you you get to make choices that impact how things are going to go and only you can make those choices so you get to help write your story and we hope that you will write an awesome story each and every day okay we have some birthdays today happy happy birthday to kylan rowe and annie ellie villegas happy, happy birthday. birthday all right what's happening on campus today um, we would like all teachers to know that we are going to start PLCs this week for math and ELA. For this week only, math will be on Wednesday. Um, typically, math PLC will be held on Mondays, um, but for this week only, that will be on Wednesday. Um, also, our ELA PLCs start up this week on Thursday. Those meetings will take place in room 506. And um, shout out to Ms. Richardson. We had, um, she reached out. Um, and Quarters for a Cause has donated lots of school supplies, and those are going to be in the PLC room this week, teachers. So if you are in need of any of those supplies in your classroom, or teacher, or I'm sorry, students are in need of any of those supplies, please take those um, as you go to PLCs this week. And I think um, let's double check with Miss Fox and Miss Arrington. I believe they were going to do those PLCs might be in different locations. So we, they will send out an email for the exact location. They might not all be in 506. Okay, but you can stop by and get those supplies. Absolutely, if you need to. that's where the supplies will be for sure. So also, um, there today is it on Tuesday. There is a the cafeteria meeting. Yes. Um, at 9:45. Um, so that that is for lunch monitors. So on Tuesday today. Uh, the cafeteria meeting will be at 9.45 for those lunchroom monitors so that we can have um, a conversation of consistency. Yes, and if you could please be prompt, we want to wrap that up before lunches begin at 10.30. So we want to make sure we can get it all in. All right, if you have a student that does not have a tag on their backpack, please let the front office know. So yesterday we pushed out the bulk of all of our tags. Every student this year will have a tag. It'll either, and they are color coded. So it will <clears throat> either be for parent pickup, for bus, or walker, or, or daycare. daycare. <laughs> um, AES daycare. AES daycare, yes. So we do have Imagine daycare that goes to the front of the school. Um, they would have a pickup tag. So they would have a pickup tag and they would go to the front for that. So again, if you don't have a tag for a student, please let the office know. So next, what we're going to do, um, each of the announcements, we will um, spotlight one of the expectations for our school. So today, our spotlight is on the hallway and the expectation of dolphins swim in the halls. So we're going to talk through the different components of how we should walk while we're in the hallways. So the first H is for hands to yourself. Always, boys and girls, when you're walking, you should have your hands to yourself. Letter A in Hall stands for always stay in your lane and watch your pace. Boys and girls, what that means is you kind of can think about driving a car when you're walking down our hallways. In the United States, we drive on the right side of the road no matter what direction we are going. And so just like we drive on the right side of the road, we want you to walk on the right yellow line in the hallway. Um, those yellow lines are there to keep you safe. Be they are um, measured out so that if a door opens, if you're on that yellow line, that door will not hit you. So again, always on the right side and watch your pace. That means we are not running in the hall halls. We are not skipping in the halls. We are walking at a steady pace to stay safe. The first L is for low voice levels. While we're in the hallway, boys and girls, we should have no voice or a very quiet voice. And so because there are other boys and girls that are learning in other classrooms, 
So we want to make sure that we are always quiet in the hallways. And the second L in hall stands for let your destination be your priority. That means when we are in the halls, we are on a mission. We have a place that we need to get to and we need to get to that place quickly while walking um, so that we can maximize our time here at school to learn all that we can. So when you're in the halls, let your destination be your priority. Get there quickly. The S stands for smile and be courteous. It's very nice to smile to people as you pass them. You can even give a little wave, but don't stop and talk to them. We have to get to the destination. So make sure that you're getting to where you need to go with a smile on your face. I'm glad you said that, Miss Cornell, because a lot of times our dolphins like to pop out of line and give us hugs. Mm. And I really do love those hugs. However, boys and girls, to keep the line running smoothly, we really can't stop in the middle of the line and give hugs. So you can wave. Another thing that um, I like to do is called a microwave, and it goes like this. So if you see us, you can give us a microwave or you can just give us a regular wave and we will know that you really want to hug us but it's not the time but you know what it is time for what time it is now time for the school pledge all right as, as an, an important, important member of the avon, avon elementary, elementary family i will start each day with a positive attitude work with, with others improve each day and make every day count i will swim all right, Dolphins, it is now time to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. We hope you have a terrific Tuesday.